some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, I've got a rather short one for you. It takes us to Pima County, Arizona, where a Sovtard is facing a judge over a litany of charges and tries the Sovereign Citizen script, but is quickly shut down by the judge in a rather creative manner. Now, let's get this S show on the road, shall we? Ryan Hummer to the podium. And Francisco Campa to the chair, please. Good morning, sir. May I have your name and date of birth? Uh, I'm an attorney in fact for Ryan Neal Hummer, agent, and date of birth, April. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, gee, attorney in fact. Okay, then. Uh, let me guess. You just heard uh, that, uh term and thought it would apply to you uh dude uh you really need to get down and do your research because attorney in fact uh, relates to uh well power of attorney issues are at play and power of attorney actually means that you turn over your uh abilities to manage your finances uh legally and everything like that over to another person that's not necessarily a lawyer. So in other words, you've given them your power of attorney over your estate issues, such as monetary issues. And as such, they do not apply to criminal issues, which that is the uh, legal actions that are at play in this particular scenario. So dude, go back to school. Your name, Ryan Hummer? Uh, I'm the attorney in fact for Ryan Hummer. Sir, that's not what I'm asking you. Is your name Ryan Hummer? Um, I, I am the agent for the attorney in fact and the attorney in fact. When you were born, what was your valid name? Ryan Neal Hummer. Okay. I was. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, Judge, I think you just uh, pretty much obliterated the first part of his script, and from this point on, he's going to be totally lost because now he doesn't know what to do. Poor little Sovtard. Uh, We're here today on a Superior Court arrest warrant. You were arrested on allegations of one count of stalking, fear of death, a Class 3 felony, and two counts of computer tampering, Class 5 felonies. I will affirm the attorney that was already appointed to represent you in this case. I'm setting a status conference post-warrant on September 19th at 8.30 in the downtown Superior Court. I am going to affirm the bond that's in the cash, or the affirm the bond that's in the warrant as a $7,500 bond on this case. I'm also ordering pretrial services, supervision, and an electronic monitor to be installed if you do post that bond. We're also here today on a second arrest warrant on a case involving one count of monitoring device interference, a class four felony, and escape, a class five felony. I will appoint you an attorney in that case as well. Set a status conference post warrant on September 19th at 830 as well in the downtown Superior Court. And I am ordering a cash bond in the amount of $7,500 with pretrial services supervision and electronic monitoring to be installed before your release on that one as well. You'll have the same release conditions on both of these cases. I'm ordering that you not return to the scene of any alleged crime, no contact with any victims, complainants, or witnesses, no contact with the arresting officers, no weapons, drugs, or alcohol, and you must obey any terms of any order of protection or order against harassment that has been or will be issued. Finally, I'm ordering that you may not initiate any contact with any alleged victim for any reason, whether that be direct or indirect contact, such as through third parties or social media, nor respond to any contact from any listed victim. Any violation of a no victim contact order could constitute aggravated harassment, which would be an additional felony allegation. All of that will be in your release conditions. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, Your Honor. Thank okay, you, Your Honor. You have, you have a nice day, Your Honor. You you. Go ahead and grab that to your left and take it. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you. Have Francisco Campa to the podium. Well, that was bloody brilliant. The judge ended up destroying that script uh, quick, fast, and in a hurry. And, uh, well, this particular soft tart really had no comeback to it. Maybe he's just a newbie trying to figure it all out. Uh, I don't know. But uh, I don't think he'll try that again. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?